overall was an untrained, or well, I shouldn't say untrained, but a lay midwife who had never got training in a medical school. And this, this goes back to you know, the attitudes of the doctors towards mothers and babies. They may think that they're being really warm and loving, but for the most part, what they've been trained is total malarkey, anti-scientific, non-biological nonsense. It goes back to the days when doctors got their training in the priesthood and you used to have sick houses in the Middle Ages. You might remember this from history, the sick houses of the Middle Ages where you, there were a big warehouse or a barn where all the sick people came in. You broke your leg if you had cholera, if you had typhus, if you had tuberculosis, they would just put you one right next to the other in the sick house. And uh, you know, so they were disease transmission vectors and people died by the thousands in these sick houses. And uh, the priest would go around uh, giving absolutions and the, the doctors would go from one bed to the next helping to transmit the germs from one person to the other. You have that? <clears throat> uh, this is an interview uh, of Dr. James DeMeo uh, from or by Jan Irvine uh, from Gnostic Media. He goes on and on and on lamenting the woes of modern medicine. He also goes on and on for some time about how guilty and shameful he is that he succumbed to the pressure of his family to have his son circumcised and uh, uh, he'll never forgive himself for that. And in this section, he's going on and on and on how doctors uh, manipulate and forced him to make his wife have a C-section when the natural way is far better and healthier and, and has a, a higher uh, survival rate. On and on. So... My issue here is going to be the classic old way or the natural way versus the new way. His issue is the fact mainly that he was forced into it and, and he didn't want his wife to have a C-section. That was the biggest thing. He didn't want his wife to have a C-section. He never mentions what his wife wanted he does mention the fact that she was in labor for something like two or three days and uh, and oh, was going to go natural and finally she begged for an epidural and uh, then when it wasn't they, they finally did the c-section uh, they they said no we're just doing it this guy is apparently a doctor and and I, I guess has had some training, um, but I, I suppose I have to ask a question to everyone out there, if you even care. What do you think is, I suppose, the best way to go about it? Do it the natural way, the way God intended, uh, as as He has uh, implied in several places in this interview. Or should we take advantage of our medical technology uh, and uh, the fact that we've learned to do things like separate the sick people and, and wash our hands, which we didn't know back then. Uh, he still seems to think that we have priests going around infecting sick people and waiting for them to die. Uh, what do you think is better? Should we learn? from our mistakes and use that? Or should we just keep doing it the way nature intended? Uh, and I, I actually have one of the things a uh, uh, DOS American atheist uh, pointed out was the fact that the female pelvis is a monkey pelvis. And uh, it would be fine if we were giving birth or if they were giving birth to monkeys with brains the size of monkeys, but we are now humans uh, with brains the size of humans and I don't know if you've seen a, a newborn child they have the, the torpedo head so you're fitting a skull and brain that's 
easily twice the size through a hole that was never evolved or didn't evolve fast enough to compensate for the size of our head getting so big. So we're causing brain damage the natural way anyway, or brain stress. Uh, what do you guys think? Am I off base here?